Hello. Welcome to Miss Strawberry Makes episode 30, I think. I forgot to check, but I'm pretty sure it's 30. I'm Michelle. You can find me on Instagram as Miss Strawberry Short Girl and on Ravelry as Miss Michelle Bell. Well, welcome. Miss Strawberry Makes is a crafty podcast about knitting, crocheting, sewing, and any other crafty shenanigans that I get up to. I said that all backwards, but that's okay. I got it all out. It doesn't have to be one way. This is Alfie. Oh, he's trying to push everything off of the table there. I've had a rearrange in my room here, so everything looks a little uh, in disarray. Actually, I think I might scoot my chair up a little. I feel far away. I'm so profesh. Uber profesh. Okay, so anyway, this is Alfie. Today is Saturday, March 20th, 2021, and Alfie's birthday is on March 23rd. So it is almost his first birthday. I had thought about having a birthday party for him for fun with my nieces and nephews, which oddly enough, they are not his favorite people. He's not that fond of children, so it's kind of funny. Um, he likes some of them, like the older ones. He, he likes them okay, but uh, the middle, the ones in the middle are a bit too much for him. He's just a pampered little prince, a little stinger. Um, but anyway, hey, if this is your first time watching, thanks for trying this out. I hope you enjoy it. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. It's great to have you here. Um, yeah, I think I was saying I had a bit of a rearrange in here. So, um, my desk where I've been working remotely, um, ever since, you know, the craziness of about a year ago, um, and the desk used to be in front of the window here, but um, I have this little pink couch. You, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it in pictures, um, but we got some new living room furniture. So this little pink couch came in here. It's not the most comfortable thing on earth. It's more like a little decorative thing. It's fine to sit on, but it's not comfortable to lounge on at night in front of a show. So, um, yeah, so it came in here and I put it in front of the window. I tried things a few different ways until I finally settled on something. At first I had the pink couch at the end of my bed, but it was just way too crowded and it looked weird. So um, I just did a nice rearrange and I'm liking it like it is now. So, and I got these cute little shelves for this area that then became kind of blank. Um, there are actually three of them and they came from Target. They were actually from the baby nursery department. Yeah, a very mature style. But I just love them. They're metal and they're scalloped and I put them up myself. I was rather proud of myself. I do have a little toolkit my dad gave me. <laughs> he put it together for me, a whole bunch of old tools. But um, I don't have a level, so I think they turned out pretty level for not having a level. I used a little ball. I just like set it in the middle and if it didn't roll I figured it was good enough. So I don't know why I'm telling you that. Anyway. Okay so I hope you all are well. It's been a minute since I've done one of these so I will just jump in and show you what I have been up to. So let me think. Do I have any finished objects? Oh, I can put in pictures of my sister Amy's birthday socks. So I got them done about a month late. Her birthday is February 17th and I got them done about a whole month late. Um, they are Midnight Dancer. There should be like pictures happening somewhere right now. Um, they're Midnight Dancer by Sari Nordland. Um, they are the... Have I made only one other... Of that. Yeah, I think they're just the second pair of that pattern I've made. I love that pattern. Um, the ruffle at the top is just so cute. I just love it. They're really a simple pair of socks, but they just look so sweet with that ruffle at the top. Um, and the yarn I used was, I think, from Storytime Yarns on Etsy. And I think the name of the yarn was Storytime. So very cute very um neutral which isn't very me but amy likes neutrals so worked out well for her 
of course I picked it out based on her tastes, obviously, since it was a gift. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Other than that, I don't know if I have any actual finished objects. Was I still working on my Killarney scarf the last time? I can't remember. I still, I think it might have been done, but I still haven't weaved in all the ends. I'm so terrible or blocked it, but it turned out really beautiful. Really happy with it. It's so, so big. It's going to be so cozy. Gosh, there's like so much of it. I just love it. All the colors. I feel like Joseph and his coat of many colors. Hopefully my siblings don't try to sell me to anybody. Just kidding. I kid. Biblical humor. Um, but yeah, that turned out beautiful. I do need to get that completely finished. Mm. I don't like the screen for my working. It's not very pretty. Anywho. Not everything has to be pretty, I guess. Okay, oh, one other finished object. Oh, the Killarney scarf was by Amy Loudon. And the yarn is, I feel like you probably already know this, but I'll just tell you just in case. The yarn is um, Dandelion and Dogwood's 2020 advent calendar, which was Agatha Christie themed. Okay, and then my next finished object is also an Amy Loudon pattern. Um, they are the, I forget what they're called. They are the bifilled, that's what it is, bifilled mitts. I think I've got the pattern here. Oops, that is not the right one. Well, I'm not very organized today. I'm doing this really last minute. But yeah, they're the Bifeld Mittens by Amy Loudon. And this yarn is Christmas Cocktails by Dandelion and Dogwood also. And it's held, it's the fingering wet yarn held with some mohair lace yarn to make them really nice and fluffy. But they are so pretty and I love them. I love them. Look at those bobbles and cables. And the fluffiness. So cute. Don't go on there. You'll knock the phone over. So anyway, I have only had to wear them once since finishing them. And I'm very grateful about that. Today is the first day of spring. Yay. So happy. Um, and it's nice out today. It's in the mid 50s, which isn't exactly warm, but it feels warm after, you know, freezing temperatures. And it's sunny, so that makes a big difference too. No babe, no bubster. Come here, crazy little creature. So that is that. Um, really happy with those. They were a nice quick knit. Up there, so you don't need them. And then a work in progress. I think that's my only. I think so. Okay, work in progress in my candy patch bag with the Liberty Bunting candy patch on Instagram and Etsy. Um, these are actually pretty much done. I just have to kitchener the toe closed and weave in all the ends because they are stripey socks and not self-striping yarn. They're made with minis. Um, these are the pearly, the pattern is Pearly Dots Socks by Sandra Paul of Cherry Heart. Um, um, these, okay, I'm gonna put in a picture of what they were supposed to look like. And then, here is what they ended up looking like. I had to rip them back because I ran out of the pink on the second sock. Like, 
here. So because this um, cuff takes up so much yarn because it's doubled over, it used up so much of the pink that it can't be in the stripe sequence. So I was really sad about. The yarn is from Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit Yarns. And it is, it was something to do with candy. I forget the name of the set, but it was like supposed to be like their candy that I think are called fizzers, um, but they, they're English candies. But in America, they would be like what we call Smarties. But what they call Smarties over there are like what we call m and M. So it's very confusing. But anyway, they were inspired by candy. And so they're candy colors, which I love. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not actually in love with them. And it makes me really sad because I love this yarn. Like the mini set was just delightful. But this stripe sequence just isn't making my heart sing. But it's kind of like... I had to do it that way. I wonder if they'll just grow on me the more I see them. You notice how like the pink and the purple kind of stand out and then the orange, green, and yellow are all kind of more the same amount muted. I think it just feels like a whole lot of blah happening here. Like it needed the pink stripes to kind of pop. But it is what it is. I didn't have enough to do that. But I did have enough to do the t toe to match the cuff. So I think it works. I just don't adore it. But again, I think it might grow on me. So sorry to be a Debbie Downer about that one. But you can see why I haven't weaved in all the ends. Because it's kind of hard to get excited about weaving in the ends on a project that you aren't like super excited about anymore sad times. Not every project can be a win, I guess. It's just the way it is. Oh, look at my cup. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place today. Focus. It's not focusing. Boop. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, now how do I make it? Stop. Okay. I don't know what I've done now. Okay. Anywho. It is Peter Rabbit and his sisters. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Ooh, Peter's on there twice. He's popular. And Jemima. Jemima. She's my favorite. Um... I'm going to stop this and start it because I couldn't make it stop doing that weird focusing thing. It might be the light might be kind of messing with it too, that glare on there. Anyway, in case you didn't know, this is Kath Kidston. has a range of Peter Rabbit. And a tea towel and a dress and pajama pants because I couldn't resist. I mean, how often do you have Kath Kidston, big favorite, and Peter Rabbit, Beatrix Potter stuff, together? I mean, had to be done. So anyway, that is that. Um, another work in progress. I'm trying to think if I made any more progress on this. This is the sweater I'm making for my cousin Hannah's baby Georgie. I've got the whole back done. So it's basically just a square. <laughs> but really pretty cables. Um, if you want to see more about this, just go watch the last episode. I think I talked about it more because I forgot to bring the book over. I'm sorry. This is a rubbish episode. <sighs> place. 
Okay. Mostly, I just don't feel like talking about that right now because I'm not that excited about it. So that's probably why I'll get excited about it again and it'll be fine. I am excited, however, to show you this project. So this is the Floral Diamond Jumper by Fran Morgan. And I am super excited about this. Now... I am doing it all in pastels, of course. So here are my colors. I am using Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK. For the main color, I am using um, Banana Cream. So it's like the palest of pale yellows. It basically just looks cream colored unless you're in really good light and then you can tell it is like the palest yellow ever and then for my other colors we've got candy floss pink pistachio green blush pink peach orange Hands aren't big enough for this. Duck egg blue. Also sea foam blue. So those are very similar, but they're different enough that I wanted to use them both. Nope, I'm falling. Okay, this was daffodil yellow. Close up of my messy hair there. Sorry about that. Um, and Dusty Rose, which to me looks lilac, but this my purple. Is that all? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So those are the colors for the flowers. Ooh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? Sorry, you didn't come here to hear me sing. Um, that is that. So these are the ones I've gotten done so far. Um, I've been being a very good girl and weaving in the ends every time I get a set of seven done. So, oh, and look at these cute little scissors I got. Aren't those darling? Um working on some more yellow middles right now but look at all those daisy grannies so the colors are beautiful together i'm loving them so like here for example is some with one of the blues for the middle it's not a very good way to show that um some with purple middles so you just basically alternate the colors till you have like every possible combination and then have to do a certain amount of the motifs and then I'm not sure how they're going to be stitched together. I hope they're crocheted together. I don't want to sew them all together. I bet I can crochet them all together. I never read ahead in the direction so I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited about this sweater. I ordered a little granny square blocking thing too that's just like a board with a bunch of holes in it and pegs to um, stretch them to the correct size, block them to the correct size because um, they are supposed to be more like that. So I have gauge if it's stretched out properly. I don't actually check my gauge, but I did measure the squares just to see how I was doing. Um, with this, honestly, if it ended up being too small, you could just add, like, another row or something and you'd be fine. But I think it'll be, I think it'll fit. So I am really excited about this project. I've been working away on these and it's been a while since I've crocheted anything. So it's kind of nice to get back to that. In spring, summer, I always think of crocheted cotton 
it's like what I think of. So I have one other crocheted um, sweater that I really like. Um, you, If you've watch this you'll have seen it of course it's um like a ripple stitch and it was a kit from wool and the gang i think i think it's wool and the gang yeah so it was one of their patterns and it's i just love it it's so fun and cheerful and you know groovy so i'm into that right now i guess so that is that i'm really excited about this i can't wait to see it come together um yeah I think I've said all there is to say about that. So there's that. And then next, um, okay, this I'm actually gonna do as soon as I'm done here filming this. I'm gonna stitch this up. So I cut out, it is Liberty Fabrics Pattern birdie shift dress so it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like there but here is more what it actually looks like i'm doing the one without the collar um and i am using this cotton it is from joann's it's just one of their quilting cottons i think it's a keepsake calico i don't know the name of it i don't know if it has a name well i'm sure it has a name but so I thought that was a fun fabric. Um, so I'm trying it out with this more expensive cotton. And then I have some actual Liberty fabric. Um, the Tana Lawn, I think it is. And so I'll probably sew one out of some of that after I make sure this is a good fit. So, cause of course that fabric is much more expensive. Um, and that would be really bad if I messed it up. So, um, yeah looking forward to stitching that up I haven't felt much like sewing for a while so I'm glad I'm kind of feeling it now because I kind of have to do that when I feel like it because if I don't feel like it it's just a chore so I it's not something I need to do like I can buy clothes if I want to it's purely for hobby and for fun so I'm not gonna make myself do it if you know I'm not gonna enjoy it so glad I'm in the mood to sew all that to say I'm in the mood to sew and I'm glad so um looking forward to making that pattern so I'll show you how that turns out um and then also I think the only other thing I have to show you is a little looky looky what I got so let me First, I'll show you this. Um, I did put it in my stories. It's very exciting. Oh. It's kind of like an Easter advent. Well, it's not advent, but you know what I mean. It's like a Easter calendar. So it's from Lay Family Yarn. You, you start it on the 24th. So getting close and then you make a pair of jewels are they called little rabbits socks little bunnies or little rabbits J jewels of so sweet violet her little rabbit sock i think they're called little anyway i'm sure you know what i'm talking about if you know anything about sock knitting so um you knit um the days leading up to easter open one of these each day and then you have a pair of socks for easter well i mean not that you'd wear money, sir, but you know what I mean. So this is going to be so fun. I'm looking forward to this. Maybe I'll do like a little vloggy thing where I show opening them like I did the advent calendars. That might be kind of fun. Hmm. Let me know if you'd be into that. Well, I guess I can do it even if you're not into it because my mom will watch it. But um, I think that is all I have for you guys today. Oh, if it just gave me the weirdest look. Um, yeah, I hope you're well. And um, probably see you later on if I do open those yarns in front of everyone. Everyone. Like if I, yeah. 
I'm done now. Okay, guys, see you later. Happy making. Bye.